In this tutorial, we're going to look together at some basic title editing using a program called Titler Pro. If you're an owner of many versions of PowerDirector, Las Vegas Studio, Edius, uh, or Media Composer, you may already have Titler Pro built into your software. It's an add-on that many manufacturers license for their particular programs. I have a standalone version, but I'm going to use the earlier add-on version that I have in my version of PowerDirector. And if you happen to be a PowerDirector owner, to find out if you have it, all you need to do is go to the media room and click on the T for titles, click the down arrow for content, and if you have a category called New Blue, Titler Pro 1 or 1.5 may pop up there. If you're an owner of another piece of software, it really doesn't matter how you get into Tidler Pro. The basic functions will be the same regardless of the overall shell that takes Tidler Pro and pulls it into its uh, video editing procedure. I'm going to take Tidler Pro here in the PowerDirector example and drag it down to my timeline, and then I'll double-click and launch it. It will give a pop-up window, and this is universal uh, to almost anybody who's using Tidler Pro in any kind of software. And so in this version 1.5, we're going to look at some basic editing. So what I'd like to do is describe a little bit about the screen that you see here. We have a preview screen with a play mode here. I can click the right arrow, and it will play, and it will automatically loop over and over again. I have a default text on a track that's in blue, and I will edit that in a moment. I also want you to see that uh, we have more controls on the left that we'll deal with in future tutorials. But we have a view, and the default in the view mode is a gray background with safe margins. Now there are two of them. The outside is a safe TV margin. The inside is a safe text margin and the default is having them on. We also can turn a grid on in order to place objects on our screen. I'm going to turn off the marking grid for now. Now also you have the option that you can change the safe margins. If you're using a 4x3 output on a 16.9 screen, you can change them accordingly. So that's a nice feature of the safe margins. You can also take them and completely turn them off. And in different versions of uh, New Blue Tyler Pro, you can actually change the color of the margins. You can also change the background in this version. You can make it black, or you can make it white, which doesn't help if you have white text, but it might work in your situation or if you prefer a different kind of text. We'll stick with the, the gray that it starts with. Now the nomenclature that Tidler Pro uses for a single block of text, whether it's on one line or more, is a paragraph. So it starts out with a default paragraph. You have handles around the outside and a couple of other controls that we'll get to later. But to enter text, you simply put your cursor anywhere in and hit Control A, and then you type first example, then I'll hit a hard carriage return. See here. And now I have a two-line paragraph. And we see the text in the blue area here, which is my track, my top track for my text. We can change the style of it. We'll get into that later. But you have your common functions here. If I have the whole thing highlighted and the green box showing, uh, what I do will apply to everything. I can change the font. I can change the size. I can change whether it's bold or italic or underline. I can change the uh, justification to left or center or right or left and right. That's used if you're doing a scrolling text. I can change what's called the kerning. This is the distance between the letters. And if I go up or down, I can change that quite easily. And the letting, which is a diff distance between the lines, I can tighten it up or loosen it up. 
I can also choose not only the box, but parts of it. I can drag and drop over here, and I can say, reduce the size of this text in the same paragraph. Or you can do that same with a letter. We'll give you some more examples of that in the future. To select everything, you simply click on the blue bar, and that will get it to, to where you can see everything at once. You can take your cursor and move it on any of the outside lines and move this wherever you want to on your visible screen. To add another paragraph, we'll click another one. We'll just say uh, uh, red. And then we'll move this away from the middle. It, the default is always in the middle. We'll do green. And we'll put this down over here. I could use the grid to adjust it if I wanted to. I'll add a third one. We'll just simply call it blue RGB here. Now the default uh, length of the text is the length that you have in your box. But you notice when I entered these three, they're shorter than the first one. Why? Because this is where my cursor was when I put the items up. If I put my cursor to the left and do add paragraph, I'll enter another one. And now yellow is the full length of this segment. If I want to change the length of any of them, I just click on them and I can use the mouse to say, well, this will come in at one second. And I'll make green come in at two seconds. And I can even change yellow. That will come in in three seconds. And I can reorder these by dragging and dropping. Now yellow's at the bottom. Now red's at the bottom. And now we'll put green above yellow. And so you can adjust them, and I'll put blue above green. So that makes a little bit of sense here. You can also obviously change where they end. I'll make green very short on the screen. And when it's highlighted, I obviously can move it. So let's go ahead and hit our play and see what we get here. It will loop indefinitely until you hit the stop. There's first example, there's blue, there's green, there's yellow, and there's red. And green came and went, as you see in the example. Green pops up and green goes away, yellow. So that's the simple way to put text on your screen in Tidler Pro. In coming lessons, we'll show you a lot more about some amazing things you can do with this piece of software. I must add that in order to uh, put all this stuff back in your timeline in your program, in PowerDirector, all you have to do is close it, and it will uh, take the fully edited section and drop it in your timeline, and you can play it, and it will do its stuff right there uh, where you started. Same is true for Media Composer and the other programs that have built-in versions of Tidler Pro.